Hey guys, Joe Baker here with the Edit Bay. Tonight, I'm going to show you how to access legacy presets from Magic Bullet Looks 3.0. A few weeks back, I did a first impressions video about Magic Bullet Looks 3.0, which is Red Giant's latest release for their color grading app, Looks. And one of the greatest things about Looks 3.0 is that Stu Mashewitz uh, handcrafted over a hundred of brand new presets that are all geared towards the uh, current trends with uh, color grading. Awesome, awesome feature. It's a great learning tool. And most of the old presets from the previous versions were kind of dated, uh, but there were a few that I liked a lot. Um, two were Berlin and Berlin Smooth, and, and they're just not accessible uh, through the current version of Looks. Fortunately, Red Giant has always been really good about having their products be backwards compatible. So if you just go over to your C drive, come over here to Program Files 86, and over to Looks Builder. If you go into Looks, Right here, these subcategories here are all from legacy versions of Looks, so Looks 2.5 and previous. So I went over here to People. This is one of the um, one of the presets I really liked, Beauty Shot. All you have to do is copy this, hit Control C or right click on it, copy, and then go over here, back up a little bit, go over here to Default Looks. These are all of the uh, presets that Stu Mashewitz has created. So. Berlin is a cool type of look, cool in terms of color temperature. So I just went in here to Blockbuster Looks Cool, and I just pasted uh, both of these Berlin presets in here. Now, if I go ahead and close this out, come over here to my host app and launch looks. Over here to Blockbuster Cool. Down here at the bottom are these legacy presets, and you can do this with any of them. And one more tip I'll throw out at you before I sign off tonight is uh, after I did that tutorial, I had a few people ask about some of the legacy tools. Um, it seemed that Red Giant had removed some of the tools from the tool chain or the toolboxes over here. Uh, one of them being Light Flex, uh, somebody had asked about. And I had already noticed that um, Range Saturation was no longer over here, which is a tool that I used quite a bit. Um, I create my looks from scratch. I very rarely use presets. And so it never dawned on me to look over here. I was actually surfing around, messing around with the looks that they actually have a legacy tools box over here. So you could just add light flex or you could, oh, excuse me, you could add the deflare tool if you wanted or that range saturation tool that I use quite often. So another quick tip for you guys. All right, folks, I hope you found those tips useful. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the support. If you have any questions, feel free to throw a comment in the box below. I'll see you next time.